And next up, the classic that we get a lot is people using a brand color like this but then they're using it for their CTAs and it's a little bit hard to know what's a CTA and what's not. So in this case, you've got some links up here in the top. It's text without underlines. Then you come down here and you have this box that's a heading, but it's you know pink. And the only thing that's helping me know that this is a button is that these corners are rounded and that there's, you know, that it's more or less centered. And again, this is, an, is a problem I see a lot where you've got, you know, this like you've got a grid point centered left, centered, um, centered here, left here, centered. And it's just things just feel jumbled. They, they don't feel organized and things feel safer to people when they feel more at, at rest or organized and they feel more consistent. Um, it's, you know, if you walk into a home and it's messy, um, that can often feel, um, you know, a little bit like it's not fun or restful to be in that space. That said also something that is too formal, too rigid can feel sterile and not cozy, right? So it's an interesting balance to try and get. But in this case with CTA colors, you know, we go back and forth here. So I, I find that when people try and do stuff like this, it can really go awry. Now, this isn't the worst example that we see, but I think this is a good example of seeing like every time that you add, you know, CTA color to items that aren't CTAs, you potentially uh, create a little bit of confusion in the user.